In a previous video about Warp World, I showed you how to add commands to the bot that you use yourself. However, there's now an easier way to make Warp World work with a custom bot account. Enabling this will give our chat channel all the commands of Warp World without entering them in manually to our other bots. This feature only works with users that use the warp bar, but if you don't use the warp bar and you wanna take advantage of this feature, you can always just add the warp bar into your OBS and then simply move it off screen or hide it somehow. However, the warp bar is pretty awesome and it displays your levels on screen, so I highly recommend checking that out. Anyways, let's see how we can set this up. First, let's log into Warp World and in the submission settings page, if we scroll down a bit, we'll see bot name. This is where you'll enter your bot name. Mine is called nerd or bot, and you can go and set up any channel with any name that you'd like to use. And I recommend doing this because it will give you a custom bot account and it will keep things a bit cleaner in chat as to whether you're talking or your bot's talking. Now, we'll notice the bot token field with a learn more right by it. We can click learn more and see exactly how to set this up. And then we can also see how to get the token to enter into the field. So let's log into Twitch as the bot account that we're going to use. Once I'm logged into Nerd or Bot, I'll generate the token by going to a link that I find on Warp World. If you don't have this link, then you can just go to twitchapps.com slash TMI. Click the connect with Twitch link. And once you do that, you'll see a string of characters. Once you see this, then all you need to do is copy everything and then go back into Warp World and paste this into the bot tokens field and then hit save. And you should be good to go. With that set up, then all we need to do is just check and make sure everything's working. So what we want to do is actually load up the warp bar either inside of OBS or whatever streaming software you use or something like Google Chrome. So once we load the warp bar, we'll see our bot say connected in chat. If we see that, that means that everything's working and then we can even test it out by using exclamation mark add and then a level ID just to verify that things are getting submitted. I do wanna mention that if you previously set up Nightbot, Ankbot, or another bot to work with the Warp World commands, you'll need to delete those now, otherwise you may see double responses. You may also see multiple responses from the bot if you run more than one Warp bar at the same time. So if you do this, be sure to append the nbot equals false at the end of any URL if you plan on running any extra bots. As always, thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions or issues with setting up the bot system, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, subscribe to Nerd or Die for more streaming related content. Thanks for watching.